Oxy MBBS. One step solution for all medical studies. Hi friends, this is Dr. Sanjay and I heartily welcome you all in my channel Oxy MBBS. So from this video we are starting a series of lectures on the brachial plexus. So friends, under brachial plexus, first we will discuss the definition of the brachial plexus. Then we will discuss how brachial plexus is formed and branches of the brachial plexus. Then we will discuss the applied anatomy of the brachial plexus. And under it, first we will discuss what is Ob's paralysis. Then we will discuss what is Klumke's paralysis. And we will discuss very important nerves in detail like median nerve. Ulnar nerve, radial nerve, axillary nerve, musculocutaneous nerve and long thoracic nerve. Because friends, from these nerves, LAQ type of question comes in your theory exam. And from these two subtopics under the brachial plexus, SAQ type of question comes. So friends, today in this video, we will discuss the definition of the brachial plexus. And in the next videos, we will cover all these subtopics one by one in detail. Now friends, what is the meaning of plexus? So it is a group or network of anterior rami of spinal nerves from which segments from C5 to T1 segments. And what is the meaning of brachial? So in general, the brachial term is used for the arm. But for the brachial plexus, we are using word brachial for chest region, shoulder, arm, forearm and hand. Because friends, these anterior rami of spinal nerves from C5 to T1 segments supplies chest, shoulder, arm, forearm and hand region. That is why its name is given brachial plexus. Now friends, I am sure you will be thinking what are these anterior rami, what are these spinal nerves and what are these segments from C5 to T1. So friends, please don't worry, I have described all these things in detail in my separate video video on spinal nerve. So friends, please watch this video first, then you will get most of the things from this video. And for this, I have given link of this video in the description box below. And friends, before watching this video further, I am requesting you to please watch first my separate video on mnemonic because in this video, we are using codings which I have described in the mnemonic video. And friends, I have given link of this video also in the description box below. By the way friends, let's go further. This is our spinal cord and these are the spinal nerves. And these are anterior rami of the spinal nerves. And this one is C5, C6, C7, C8 and this one is T1. And these anterior rami from C5 to T1 segments form brachial plexus. So friends, from C5 to T1, there are four cervical nerves and one is thoracic nerve. It means total 5 nerves form brachial plexus. Now friends, how will you remember that brachial plexus starts from C5 and ends at T1 thoracic nerve. It is very simple friends. The C in the brachial will remind you that brachial plexus starts from the cervical nerve. And this L in the brachial will remind you that cervical nerve of 5th segment. Because friends, coding for L is what? 5. That is why we are using 5 for the L. And friends, this number 5 will remind you that brachial plexus is formed from how many nerves? 5 nerves. So C5 is the first nerve, C6 is the second nerve, C7 is the third nerve, C8 is the fourth nerve and the fifth one is T1 nerve. In this way friends, this brachial will remind you all these things under the brachial plexus. Okay friends. So friends, this is all about the definition of the brachial plexus. And friends, in the next video, we will see how we will form brachial plexus and how we will remember branches of the brachial plexus from this tree.